in my experience, there's an entity that used to get pleasure out of torturing people here mm -hmm. that's still here, right? Ooh. But there's also people that are stuck here. There's children here. I know there's kids here. Because remember, if you weren't welcome in society, this is where you came. If you had a child that had a birth defect, this is where they put you. Wow. It also held the criminally insane. Yeah. So a lot of a lot of dark history here. A lot of dark history. Yeah. So okay, somebody comes in here, diehard skeptic, says to you, "This is nonsense, John. No way. Ghosts aren't real." What would you say to them? Stay the night on the fifth floor by yourself and tell me that in the morning. If you make it to the morning. What's going on on the fifth floor? Let me show you. Okay. Yeah, all right. Jess, you can go first. No, no, you can. Okay. You can. You go. Phil, you want to come up front? I'll take the caboose. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, oh, this is incredible. Wow. Okay. Welcome to the fifth floor. This is the most active floor in Eloise. Why is this one the most active? This is maximum security. This is where the worst of the worst were kept. You both have had experiences up here? Yeah. Absolutely. When was your first experience here, Yvonne? My first night here? I was giving a tour for about 15 people. Okay. And they were off doing their own thing. And I was standing in this hallway right here, and I had radioed down to let my manager know that everybody was here. I lifted off my radio, and I felt like a hand go on the top of my head and break through. And then all of a sudden, over the radio, I hear, dead, 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 screaming hysterically. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? So you were, you were freaked? Yes, I was petrified. Crying? Yes. A lot of women have had multiple encounters up here. Really? So you think whatever's up here, you say it's targeting women? Yes. And have you had other experiences on this or any other floor here? Oh uh, yeah, for a while when I used to come up here, I used to get choked. I'm sorry, choked? No. Yeah. Wow. Do you mean just like your breathing felt constricted or you felt hands around your neck? I felt hands, actually. This is something that happens up here? Yeah, this is something that happens on the fifth floor, typically just two women. And whatever's doing this has come to be known as the choker. Wow. What about you? Have you ever felt anything up here? Every single time I come on the fifth floor, I feel a heaviness, I get a headache, and I feel lightheaded. And are you feeling that right now? Absolutely. Huh. Yeah, I, I feel like your behavior has changed since we were down on the first floor to now. I particularly do not like being here. And are there other entities that have been singled out here in the building besides this choker? Yes. So another ghost here is a ghost of a nurse. She will peep her head out of the nurse's station window. Which is where? Uh, right down the hall. This way? Yep, right over there. OK. And, and what happens? If you peer down the hallway at night and watch the back window out of that room, you can see a nurse pop her head in and out. No, oh. that's, that's, I got it. Guys, wow. this has been great. I got to take off. That <laughs> one gave me goosebumps. Wait a minute, are you kidding me? No. Have you seen this? I have. We have another entity here known as the Creeper. It's very clawy. It creeps on the ceiling. It runs up the walls. It never just walks down the hallway. You're talking about like a shadow? Like a shadow. And it scuffles to you. And why do you call it the Creeper? Because it just kind of lurks. 